Determine whether the following series converges or diverges. The sum from 1 to infinity n squared e to the negative 3n. Uh, it's helpful when you have fractions, um, and this one doesn't, but it can be uh, written, uh, the terms inside can be written as a fraction. This negative exponent on the, on the exponential term um, can be written then in the denominator with a positive exponent. So we have n squared over e to the 3n. First check, see if the limit isn't zero, because if it isn't, you're done. Uh, when I say the limit, I mean the limit of the terms that are on the inside. But e to the 3n grows faster than n squared. So if your denominator grows faster than your numerator, then the, the, um, the, it's going to go to zero. So that's not helpful. There's many tests that, there's a few tests actually that work on this one. But the one I think that uh, works the best, at least, or the easiest to execute is the ratio test. For the ratio test, you're looking at dividing successive terms, taking a sub n plus 1 and dividing it by a sub n. And finding out what happens as n gets large and slap an absolute value around it as well. Uh, to get right to the heart of the matter in a, in a quick way, what you can do is create a fraction for each term. Um, on the part of the fraction that this term is in, replace n by n plus 1. So in the numerator, n plus 1 squared of the first fraction. In the denominator of the second fraction, e to the 3 quantity n plus 1. Uh, in the gaps, you put the terms from the original series that are corresponding to these guys. So n squared underneath, and the e to the 3n up top. Next, what we're going to do is distribute. We take this 3 and multiply it across. And what we have is e to the 3n plus 3, which we can write as e to the 3n times e to the 3. And now we can cancel the e to the 3n from the numerator, the e to the 3n from the denominator, and be left with an e cubed in the denominator. In the first fraction, if you have a polynomial n plus 1 that, uh, that is squared, it, it just squares out as n squared plus 2n plus 1. Ultimately, if you have a, 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 cubic, a, a quadratic polynomial divided by another quadratic polynomial, you're trying to figure out what happens as n gets large, because the degrees match, the degree of the numerator equals the degree of the denominator, then you focus on the leading coefficients, and that will be what your limit goes to. So this guy goes to 1. Ultimately, then, we have 1 over e cubed. The ratio test will tell you converges or diverges best based on the size of this limit. This guy here is less than 1. When your limit is less than 1, the ratio test tells you convergence. So by the ratio test, our original series converges. You could have also done the integral test. Uh, you'd have to integrate it by parts. Uh, x squared e to the negative 3x. But um, that's doable because you could actually use the shortcut to execute that integral. So um, it works as well. And uh, and so either test is good. I um, prefer to do the ratio test if I had to choose between those two.